Hi, my name is Nina. I um, live here on Kose. I work for MCC leading the Ocean Plastics Project, which I started last September, so September 2017. Um, it's called Make Art Not Waste because we try to use art to create awareness and to stop plastic from being burnt. So what we, what we do is conduct beach cleans and we collect data about what we're picking up to send to the five, uh, the Ocean Conservancy. Um, so they can write big reports on the state of plastics uh, in the oceans worldwide and try to think of solutions. Uh, and then as we're picking up the rubbish, we sort it into different categories. So uh, these categories will mostly be plastic bottles, uh, foam, plastic bags, and non-burnables such as aerosol cans and lighters and glass and metal and then all the colorful hard plastics that we can use for creative projects so um, that in that way we're able to stop about 25 percent of the rubbish that we pick up from actually getting burnt because although it's better than the, it being in the uh, ocean turning into microplastics burning is still not the best solution it's kind of a final resort um, because it releases toxic gases into the atmosphere. So we try and save as much as we can, collect it all here, and uh, try and think of creative and functional ways to upcycle it. So for example, we create artworks, like kind of like mosaics, or we use lighters to make um, like lampshades, kind of like this. Um, we take the gas out before, obviously. Uh, and then straws we can upcycle by weaving them into broken fan covers like this makes quite a cool hanging basket or lampshade um, we make floors out of lids uh, which give a really cool like tile effect and we've made hopscotches out of these as well so yeah another aspect of the make art not waste project is to um, is outreach and education programs so we try to, we've been going into schools and giving presentations and workshops and trying to encourage uh, experiencing the materiality of plastic in a different way. So seeing it as something really durable and bountiful and colourful and as a resource for creativity as opposed to something that can just be thrown in the ocean. Uh, so that's the message that we're trying to spread by, um, yeah, by having plastic upcycling workshops with kids. And we also do that with the volunteers. Um, so yeah, it's all about using art to transmit a message and the overall aim is to reduce the amount of plastic entering the ocean. So um, one of the plans that I have for the future is to paint some big public murals in Kep uh, that will depict the underwater world because I think most people here don't actually realise how beautiful and how biodiverse it is. And, how worth saving and caring about. So by bringing visibility to the underwater world and the threats posed to it by plastic pollution, um, I think that can be a really good step towards creating awareness. And because it's public, like people won't have the choice but to see it every day. And it will, even if it's on a subconscious level, hopefully help um, people be more informed about the dangers of throwing plastic in the ocean. So. Yeah, lots of exciting things to come, lots of plastic to be picked up, and that's all for now. <laughs>